The Buddhist stream of Oriya metaphysical poetic tradition extends from the mystic utterances of the Charchapada to the lyrical couplets of Bhima Bhoi. Almost 1200 years. Contemplating the void, Shunyata, for finding answers to the riddles of life, continues to remain the chosen path of Odia spiritual practice, bristling with thorns of questions forever devoid of any final answer. Who really knows the meaning of all that is given and all that is taken away? Who knows what death means? The movement is from darkness to darkness, and in the depth of that darkness, millions of such questions continued being asked by the Siddha poets of Odisha without ever waiting for a final answer. Body was no longer in body, and the non-body stretched like the Milky Way, carrying in it millions of mocking lights of self-awareness. That is in fact the path, that is body, that is wish. One who contemplates sees him, the Lord of all Siddhas, the Buddha, in the body and its absence. Welcome to the dark torrent of these songs, ladies and gentlemen, into the uncharted sea of voids. Who knows how deep, who knows how far. Jibana morana dui andhara, majire aloko patha, ekula sekula trusna vikala, majire siddhanatha, he buddha, he buddha, he buddha. Who is there in the constellation of stars? Who is she? The ripe fullness of flesh materializing in the yogic's meditation into the insubstantial bounty of nothingness. All that went into the preparation of bodies was mere wisp of smoke. All that raving, ranting, heaving and moaning of pleasure of no avail. If all body is non-body, then why is the call for union so urgent? Bodha Tantra conjures up the many facets of non-body through the complex weave of body metaphors. Oh, mm-hmm.
develops a snowman who lives somewhere in the interstices between the curves of sleepy mountain ranges, descends into the contemplation of the yogi as the epitome of wild beauty and the yogi is in rapture. Is it the ecstasy of desire or the birth pang of non-body? Is it the startling movement of truth when the voluptuous wild beauty turns into the age-worn princess of loss, whiplashed by the wrinkles of time? This is perhaps the way the Buddhist Siddha Sadhakas encountered the essence of ephemerality, youth, beauty, time and the world. The yogi is in deep slumber in his dark cave. It is wind and moonlight outside. One can see the palace of the king in a distance, emblazoned in the festoons of light. No one knows when the wind went saying in the air that it would stand still. No one knows when the moonlight darkened saying that it would be no moonlight hereafter. It is dark and the king's palace is on fire. There is nothing to be got from the conflagration, nothing to rescue from life's boat caught in the well. Where is the Buddha? Who could rescue the world? The wild cries of the yogi reverberate in the dark caves of the mountain. Thank you. 
It's a game of cowdies. Little sea shells held in clutched fists by the bride and the groom. Whoever succeeds in opening the fist gets it. He is the one who rules. Are the bride and the groom life death duo? Who rules? Life or death? The game goes on. The last round is yet to be played. The domestic ritualistic imagery brings the life death duality into the courtyard of domestic life. This is how the Odia Buddhist sadhakas ostracized from the petty worldly lives of contented human beings fertilized the seed of deliverance in the bodiless play of pure ideas. As you pass between two mountains and take the middle path, you come upon the end, the pole of finality. One mountain could mean the stolid mundane life, the other one could mean death. What about a narrow middle path? Is that suffering? The yogi who sings the plaintive song, playing the bow and string percussion, tells the tale of Prince Govinda Chandra. who left home for that primal illusion of deliverance ¡Suscríbete 
Here is Avadhuta, who lives a many splendid life in tatters. No wish or will of his own, no friend or foe, opposites are true for him. Those that show up and sparkle mean nothing. Those that remain unmanifest entice him. He is the footloose philosopher of immanence. He visualizes in meditation a golden doe and her hunter pursuing her. But as the scene unfolds, the doe kills herself, leaving the hunter snared in his network of deceptions. Such is human life, so frustrating the pursuance of material goals. In the Buddhist Tantra Marg, this is how the Jiva Parama duality is explained. Oh, 
परिणी से नीचे शिकार तार मऊला खरा मईला आलू बेल से दीना धरा शिकारी बोलूची फास मिली दे बन सारा माया हरिणी से अति स्वभाव से दीना धरा बन हरिणी से दीना धरा इट्स अ रिवर ऑफ फायर नॉट वाटर या वधूत एंटर्स द रिवर bathes in fire wears the clothes of water and emerges radiantly to meet the contradictions of the world the contradictions of the world that pedevil mundane existence bothers him crowds him in from all sides he chuckles when he sees a dazed groom taking home his cockeyed bride the fun is bitter the irony is searing the agony is deep समुद्र लहड़ी फेर बोली अवधूत देवता मेरी जन आलुरे जीवन खिया मरुपालु चर हेला असह पकाओ मटी उठु छटती पकाओ मटी उठु छटती फुटुरे फूल ए सारा राती फुटुरे फूल ए सारा राती एक राती है सहस्र राती अवधूत जाए गई नई ठोठा टोपी तो नहीं
जाती एला एमती आखि नुहे से कजल पाती न जाती हेला एमती आखि नुहे से कजल पाती काणी दे गार दिशु सुंदर टाणी दे गार दिशु सुंदर तेरी कनिया को जल का बर कौठी खाई कौठी सोई दुनिया भितर ठाबटी नहीं अवधुत जाए गई नई ठोठा टोपीए ना नियारे गई पिंध नई रे आसब भरा उजाणी अवधुत जाए गई नई ठोठा टोपीए ना Nirakar the formless one is also a form the uncreated is also a creation in buddhist symbolism bindu and nada the seminal nucleus of vital energy and its unheard resonance of subtle expression cohabit to create the non form difficult to comprehend yet that is how the siddhas express their understanding of the cosmic law of creation and entropy it is in a dark night when the world is still the sea is calling its waves back and the seagull goes to sleep after consuming moonlight that the yogi opens his eyes and beholds the light of knowledge shining up in ignorance what is this knowledge this is apitya non knowledge we do not know if the buddhist seekers of the tantra marg got their salvation but we certainly know that they posited an alternative and forged a new path bristling with many agonies and many more ecstasies जड़ी रही ले हे 
देव सृष्टिर उदय अश्रुष्ट समुद्र जेणु निज घरे थाए सार
पद में हो हो मान 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 पद में